I'll be showing you how to pull this paper airplane today from about a 10 inch square sheet of origami paper which is black on one side and white on the other. This model um, owes a lot to uh, Michael LaFosse's F-14 Tomcat which um, inspired it and um, which um, it shares a lot of uh, structural similarity to. You can learn how to fold Michael LaFosse's F-14 uh, from the Planes for Brains video that he sells through uh, his Origami Do Studios website. But uh, today I'll be showing you this variant on this plane. You can also fold this plane from an 8.5 inch square of ordinary 20 pound copy paper or an 11 inch square of ordinary copy paper that you uh, get by cutting down a 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper or an 11 by 17 inch sheet of paper. We begin by having the paper white side up and folding it in half. Carefully line up the edges like so. Put a nice crease in. And we open the paper back up, the crease running vertically. And we want to mark off a point on each edge that's halfway down, again lining up the edges and just making a little pinch mark on each side. Now what we're going to do is fold this raw edge here up to these little center points that we just marked. And mark at the center a point that's a quarter of the way up the center line right here. Now we're going to fold this raw edge up to that mark that we just made a, a quarter of the way up the paper to mark a position that's an eighth of the way up the paper along the center line here. Turn the paper over and fold it in half again. Now we're going to fold this edge up to this point which is now an eighth of the way down the paper, the right side. a good crease in. Okay, now what we're going to do is make something called a squash fold. We're going to take this edge of the paper, kind of push it out so that it forms a cone, and then we're going to take this crease and flatten it down the center so that this crease is aligned with the crease underneath. And we have now a 45 degree angle that we've put in and another 45 degree angle that we've put in down here. Now we want to fold this top flap down to exercise the crease and flip the whole thing over and do the same with this crease that's on the back side so that it folds equally well in both directions. Okay, now what we're going to do is flip the paper over and do the same thing with a slightly longer rectangle in the back. Squash fold it, make a cone and push it down, and only this time we'd like to flip it over so that we can make sure that these intermediate flaps here are lined up with the top crease and with the crease on the back side. Once you've aligned those, make these new creases at 45 degree ang angles to flatten the paper out. Turn it over and make sure that these back flaps can fold equally well in either direction. Okay, now you should have this 
structure that looks like this. These two top flaps of paper that are slightly shorter and slightly smaller will eventually be uh, the wings, and this is the underside of the plane. These slightly longer flaps will become the horizontal stabilizers and the vertical stabilizers. Okay, with the bottom side up, what we're going to do now is to fold this top flap, the edge of this top flap, into the center line. A nice crease in there. Now we open it up and we're going to squash fold again this flap along the creases that we just put in. Okay, so that's flat. And we're going to open this side like opening a book, like so. Okay, we're going to repeat the same thing with this flap on the right. Fold this edge into the center. Put a nice crease in. Open it back up. Squash fold it on the existing crease lines we just put in. And we're going to take this flap and fold it over like we're closing a book. Okay, so now we have a structure that looks like this. I'm going to turn the whole thing over and repeat that same sequence only with these longer flaps on the back. First fold this edge into the center line. crease in there. Open it up. Squash fold it. Now fold this flap over like you're opening a book. Now we're going to repeat with this remaining flap on the right hand side. Fold it into the center line. Put a good crease in there. Open it up. Squash fold it on the existing creases. Now fold this top flap over as if you're closing a book. Now we have a structure that looks like this. We look at the layers of paper with the underside of the plane facing up. Now we're going to work on the wings. First thing we're going to do is to take this raw edge of paper here and fold it into the center line. So, now take this raw edge of paper here and fold it into the center line to meet the one we just folded in. Nice crease in there. Okay, now open those two flaps up. Now we're going to execute something called a petal fold, and it's going to be helpful to put another crease that joins these two points in here. So if we just open that up slightly and pull the paper tight, we can encourage that crease in the paper. Okay, now, we're going to make a petal fold. We're going to take this point right here on the paper and fold it up along this line to this point, and simultaneously these flaps are going to fold in to make a new point. A 
and there'll be a couple of new creases that will appear in the paper. Roughly at 45 degree angles. may not be a sharp point up the top, that's okay. So if we fold this point, or this flap now, back down, what we're going to do is we're going to tuck this up inside the model. So if we open it up slightly, it should want to go up in there. We can flatten it out. Okay, now you can see sort of uh, the outlines here of where that point went up in. And what we're going to do is we're going to put creases in there so that this little triangle pops out by folding this top layer over to the right. Like so, so you can see that triangular flap kind of folds out. We do that. Where that triangular flap comes to a point right here, that defines for us um, the leading where the leading edge of the wing is going to come from. And we're going to put a new crease in the paper from that point out to this point. And so that looks like So it's just the top, just this top layer of paper here is going to be folded out. Be a new crease there. And now we're going to fold this edge back down along the existing crease to make the leading edge of the wing. Okay, now as you flatten that out, you're going to put another crease in to flatten this top layer back out. Like so. This is the uh, right wing of the plane, which is the right wing from the top point of view. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on the other side to pull the other wing out. We fold this top flap back over to the other side. Now we're going to make a crease from here down to here. So we're going to fold this top flap of paper. along that line. Now we flatten the top edge of this wing, and then flatten the remaining layers of paper. Now we have both wings pulled out, like so. This is what the layer structure looks like. Okay, now what we're going to do is take this top flap of paper and fold a new crease in that goes from where this flap exits from along this line of black paper back to the back edge of the wing here. Like so. Doesn't have to be a particularly hard crease. Repeat on the other side. Okay, this is just to get these top layers of paper kind of out of the way for us and to define um, a new line here which is going to serve as a reference for folding out the horizontal stabilizers of the plane. Okay, so take this next flap or layer of paper and fold it along the line that you just made. Like so, and put a nice crease in there. Do the same thing on the other side. OK, 
can now open those back up into the center and fold these two top layers of paper back down. Okay, now we're going to fold these top layers of paper on a slightly different angle so that they line up with this line of paper that comes from the nose and goes all the way back to the back corner of this wing here. So just pretend that that line extends down there and put a nice crease in there. Now this raw edge of paper is going to get tucked into a little pocket that exists and that kind of locks it in place there and locks these two layers of paper together. You can see that they're more or less free to move apart from each other now on this side before we do that. On the other side they would be locked together. So repeat this on the other side. Fold that top layer up. Tuck it in the little pocket. Okay, now we're going to turn the plane over and take this top flap of paper, fold it over like you're closing a book. And now we have these existing creases in the paper from when we folded the, the horizontal stabilizer out. And we're going to have to invert a couple of them, but those creases define the lines along which, or the folds along which, the horizontal stabilizers will come out from between the two top layers of paper here. Okay, so do the same thing on the other side. Open this up. We're going to be reversing the polarity of this fold from the edge down to this point where these three creases come together. And we're going to be reversing the polarity of this bottom flap here, or this bottom crease here. So that we can pull horizontal stabilizer out. Okay, now we're going to work on what will become the vertical stabilizers. To do that, we want to put fold this edge into not quite the center, but along a line that goes from the nose of the plane back to the corner of the horizontal stabilizer. Now in order to do that, probably the thing, best thing to do is to roll the paper sort of gently over to find where the crease should be roughly before you press it in. And once you've found the position, you then press it in nice and firmly, like so. Okay, now we're going to fold this out to form the flap that will become the vertical stabilizer on the left side of the plane. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to make this edge of paper line up with where the point where the horizontal stabilizer comes out from this top layer of paper. So that serves as one reference point. And then the other is this back corner of the horizontal stabilizer. Okay, so again, you just gently roll the paper over, looking for that to line up. And then press the crease in. Like so. You want to repeat that procedure with the other side of the plane. So you roll this top layer over. Until you find that place that joins the tip of the nose to the back corner of the other horizontal stabilizer. Press the crease in. Okay, 
Now you want to fold this flap out again to the point where this lines up with the point where this horizontal stabilizer exits this top flap. And it should be symmetrical on both sides. Okay, now what we're going to do is open up these top layers like we just that we just put in the center and now we're going to have to reverse a couple of fold polarities this top crease here is a valley fold and this top crease here is a mountain fold we need to make this one a mountain fold and this one a valley fold in the or the vertical stabilizer is going to come out from between two layers of paper, two flaps of paper, when we do this. We're essentially going to be pushing this edge in. So once you reverse the polarity of those folds, Flatten the whole thing out. And so, do the same thing on the other side. the polarity of the top crease. Now the vertical stabilizer should emanate from between two layers of paper, just like the horizontal stabilizers, just like the wings. This is what it looks like from the underside. Here. Okay, now we're almost done. Turn the paper over so that the bottom side of the model is up. Now what we're going to do, and this may be the trickiest part of the whole procedure, is to put a crease in through all the layers of the paper from this point here, which is basically where this triangular flap comes out of the paper, back to roughly right here right about there on the top side. And it roughly corresponds to where this leading edge of this wing comes over to this line of paper here, if you'd like a reference point for that. So we're going to make that fold that crease as sharp as you can. Helps to be pressed down on a nice hard surface. With that folded over, turn the whole thing over. Bring the front wing up, like so. And then bring the whole top half down in such a way that you meet 
to half of the plane that's on the bottom side. Okay, so what you've essentially just done is to make a pretty big inside reverse fold through sort of this triangular region in the middle of the plane. So that that triangle of paper has gone down into the plane. And that gives this plane kind of a three-dimensional feel to it when you open it up. So the fuselage has kind of a th three-dimensional shape to it. Okay, now, once you've got the other half of the paper folded down and the model is flat, turn it so the wings are pointing straight up and open it up and you'll find that triangle of paper that was folded into the into the center. So you want to keep that pointing straight up. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a little triangle of paper that comes up and pull up a couple of the top flaps of paper from the one side. We're going to fold this triangle of paper over a little ridge of paper that's sticking up down here. And what that will do is that will lock the two halves of the plane together. When we put these flaps that we pulled up back together. So when you turn the plane back over, it's locked together. It shouldn't pull apart. Okay, so this is what the plane now looks like. We're almost there. Now we have to work a little bit on the horizontal stabilizers and the vertical stabilizers. The bottom of the plane facing up, what we're going to do is fold this back corner of the, actually this inside edge of the horizontal stabilizers to this raw edge of paper. So, a nice crease there. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now turn the paper model over. Now we're going to fold up the vertical stabilizers from the point where um, it exits this top sort of layer of paper back to this point where the white edge goes over underneath. That'll define for us where the vertical stabilizer is. So fold it over and stand it straight up. We're off to a slight angle. Repeat on the other side. Now you should have two vertical stabilizers. Okay, now, rather than having these triangular flaps of paper folded under, the plane and so sticking out. What we're going to do is make a reverse fold along the existing creases, like so, so that now there's no flap of paper kind of sticking out underneath. Do the same thing on the other side. Now we're almost done. The wings right now are sort of pointing down, and in order for this thing to actually fly, and it does actually fly very well, what we want to do is make them point up. We do that by folding the wing gently, not a very firm crease, over this edge of paper here. Repeat the same thing on the other side. and position the wings so that they point up slightly. Okay, so this is a positive dihedral angle, and that's essential for the, the plane to fly well. You can also sort of work these horizontal stabilizers so that they stick up a little bit. 
and that's the finished plane. It looks pretty nice from almost every angle. And if you hold it from this central triangle down here and give it a gentle toss, it actually flies very well, too. So there you have it.